Cleveland Hunt with football game plan here in Schenectady, New York, watching the New York Nemesis. In Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, this is all the playbook. Bring you a week six NFL matchup between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Cleveland Browns. Now the Browns come to this game after a tough loss at home to the Falcons in which they could have won the game, but you look at the keys to victory for offense, Jay DeLome has to protect the football. He can't allow himself to throw interceptions. He has to be accurate, especially playing this aggressive style defense like the Pittsburgh Steelers. You have to keep the Browns offense on pace with your timely running, your timely passing. Don't turn the football over and ball control is gonna help you win. So it's up to Jay DeLome to make that happen. Respect the football and also protect the football. Also offensively, don't get cute. I know it's going to be fashionable to try to run a flea flicker or try to run a reverse pass or something with Cribs and that Wildcat offense or that Golden Flash offense. You can't allow yourself to get cute, play sound football against a team like Pittsburgh, and you're going to find yourself with a chance late in the game to win if you just continue to play sound football. Don't try to get cute. And also utilize more double tight end sets this week. When you're playing a 3-4 defense, the double tight end sets are your best friend. You have Robert Royal as your second tight end and also... Uh, ben Watson. So utilize those guys in the passing game as well as blocking to neutralize that pressure to give Jake DeLome more time in that passing game. Now defensively what you have to do, you can't allow those guards of the Pittsburgh Steelers to get to the second level. You look at your middle linebackers, your inside linebackers and Gokong and Barton, these guys allowing guards to get to them and take them out of the run defense department. So these guys have to be the aggressor Get up front, make plays in the run game. Don't allow the guards to get to the second level. Otherwise, teams are going to continue to gas you in the run department. And you also have to mix up your coverages. Ben Roethlisberger's first game back from the suspension. Mix up your coverages and confuse Ben Roethlisberger as the game is moving a little bit too fast for him as he catches up to game speed. Now for the Pittsburgh Steelers, speaking of Roethlisberger, you want to ease him back into the offense. Don't try to make a big splash at home, throwing bombs deep down the field. Ease him back into the game plan. You have Mendenhall, the Browns struggle in running and stopping the run. So ease Rottler's Burger back, get some runs, get some play action passes, and then by the third quarter, you'll be ready to take your shots deep, especially at uh, Abra Elam in that secondary. Also, third down offense has to get better. You guys struggle at third down offense. That has to improve. Otherwise, Cleveland's going to stay on the field offensively and effectively could chew up the clock and give yourself a, a situation where you might not even win the football game. So third down offense has to get better. And also, you have to make the transition from, can the offensive line make the transition from Ben Roethlisberger uh, to, to Ben Roethlisberger? You know he loves to scramble in and out of the pocket. The O-line has to be able to make that transition and hold their blocks a little bit longer than used to when Batch was back there. Now defensively, special teams has to be a key. You're playing Josh Cribs, one of the best returners in the history of NFL, so you have to make sure you're solid on special teams. Don't give up the big play. Don't give Cleveland a half field to work with, and you should have some success. Defensively, just come after DeLone. DeLone is a guy that want to get rid of the football quickly. He also loves to give his receivers a chance to make plays. So if you turn up the pressure, the football will come up like a lame duck, and you have you have a chance to you know, get some interceptions, which means you want to make DeLone beat you. That should be the key to victory first and foremost, because I know you guys can play the run on the way to the quarterback. I know you guys can stop the run. So it's up to you to make DeLome beat you with his arm. I'm going with Pittsburgh in this matchup. Playing at home, getting big Ben Roethlisberger back, a guy that can move around in the pocket, create mismatches on the move, can also throw on the run. Plus, Jake DeLome is going to be up back there at quarterback, not Seneca Wallace. So that's going to make it easier for the Steelers to play defense. So I'm going with the Steelers at home. Good to see Big Ben back playing football. For more NFL previews, visit footballgameplan.com slash NFL, or you can visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash footballgameplan.